Hello and welcome to my channel where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'm going to review the new Daisy Love Skies perfume, as well as compare it to the other Daisy Love flankers that I have in my collection. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started! So Marc Jacobs releases a new Daisy collection pretty much every year, and in those collections they usually have a Daisy, Daisy Oh So Fresh, and Daisy Love Flanker. They used to also have Daisy Dream Flankers, but they seem to have stopped that in the last few collections. The 2022 collection is called Daisy Skies, and I picked up one of the pieces. There are also two other perfumes in the collection, Daisy Skies and Daisy Oh So Fresh Skies, and I didn't pick those up because the notes didn't interest me too much. So the perfume that I did go ahead and pick up was Daisy Love Skies, and this comes in the beautiful transparent a sky blue bottle. And this has top notes of salt, cloudberry, and raspberry, mid notes of whipped cream, daisy, and ambrette, and base notes of moss, whitewoods, and amber. And the bottle resembles all of the Daisy Love flankers. Um, it has a really exaggerated oversized uh, daisy on top, um, which is really cute, but it does make it a little bit hard to store these bottles. They do take up a lot of space. And to me, this opens very strong, um, and it's, it's a really kind of tart uh, fruitiness. And I do get some of that salt note, but that, that quickly starts to dissipate, and the scent starts to become more sweet, but it's really not um, like a sugary sweet scent at all. I, I do love how the whipped cream brings in kind of a nice a creamy sweetness to it, and the floral note really starts to come out more. It's definitely noticeable, but not overpowering. I feel like the daisy scents always have very soft... Uh, uh, subtle powdery florals in them and overall the scent smells really sweet and creamy but also somehow light and airy um there's a slight woodiness to the base almost kind of forest like i guess that's where the moss is coming in um but it's it's definitely not strong um to me overall it's you know a nice sweet uh fruity scent um but you know you have to kind of like uh you know a fresh airiness to your scents to like this um i do enjoy this one i'm glad i picked it up it's probably not my favorite uh, daisy love scent um but it is really nice and like pretty much all of the Daisy scents, you're not going to get um, an all-day wear from this. Um, you will need to reapply. Um, these scents tend to be on the lighter side, so um, definitely keep that in mind. So I do have a few other Daisy Love flankers. Um, Daisy Love was launched in 2018, um, and I didn't pick that original one up, but I did pick up the next one, which is Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. And this one has top notes of raspberry, blackberry, and bergamot, mid notes of daisy and jasmine, and base notes of sugar, musk, white iris, and woodsy notes. And this one is more of a musky scent versus a fresh and airy scent like Daisy Love Skies. This one opens with a mix of uh, strong fruity notes and then the floral notes start to really come in and become stronger. Um, it's definitely sweet like the name suggests um, and it's kind of a sugary uh, sweetness versus a creamy one. And to me when I think of this scent it's kind of like a sugared raspberry with a soft floral in the background. Um, the scent dries down to be very musky while still retaining a lot of that sweet fruitiness. Um, so if you like musky scents that also have, you know, some sweet fruity notes, then I think you would enjoy this one. And I want to mention also that the raspberry kind of does retain sort of a sharpness to it. So even though it's a overall sweet scent, um, there is kind of that uh, tartness that does uh, linger throughout the scent. And Daisy Love Oh So Sweet is actually part of the permanent collection, so you can pick this up anytime, and it is my favorite in the Daisy Love line. And the scent that was released for 2019 was Daisy Love Sunshine, and this comes in the bright uh, sunny yellow bottle. And this has top notes of cloudberry, bergamot, and lime, mid notes of citruses and floral notes, and base notes of driftwood and cashmere musk. And this one is a very citrus heavy scent. Um, it opens with a, you know, a burst of citrus, and I definitely get a lot of that lime. And you know, the citrus is kind of sharp, um, so it's not very sweet. Um, this, this one is much less sweet than the other two I mentioned so far. And overall, the scent really has a brightness to it, and it also has a warmth in it, and it kind of makes me think of sitting out in the sun, um, you know, smelling, you know, fresh uh, citrus and flowers. And, you know, I really like this one. Um, it's, it's probably not my favorite, I would say, you know, because it's less sweet than the others, I don't gravitate as much towards it. But I do think if you like, you know, um, kind of a warm, musky citrus scent, um, then this would be a good choice. 
And like most of the annual Daisy collections, this one was limited edition, but from time to time you can find these popping up on discount retailers as well as resale sites. And then the scent that came out for 2020 was Daisy Love Days, and this comes in the nice transparent orange bottle. And this has a top note of apricot, a mid note of osmanthus, and a base note of amber. And to me, this is a really sweet and peachy scent. Um, you know, there's definitely a nice floral in it. Um, I can't pick out osmanthus specifically, but I do definitely smell, you know, kind of that uh, floral background. And overwhelmingly, you know, it's really a fruity scent. Um, that apricot, you know, really, it's, it just smells like a strong peach note. And there's also a nice sweetness overall to this scent. It's definitely less sweet than Daisy Love Oh So Sweet, um, which I think has more of kind of a candied sweetness feel in the dry down. This is still overall a sweet uh, fruity scent um, but I feel like that amber in the base is giving it you know kind of a warmthness and a little bit more uh, depth maybe than um, Daisy Love oh so sweet. Um, so if you like more of a you know fresh sugary sweetness then probably go for oh so sweet but if you wanted something a little bit warmer but that is still you know sweet and fruity especially if you like peachy scents then you might prefer Daisy Love Days. So that's it for my review of Daisy Love Skies, as well as the comparison to other flankers in my collection. If I had to rank the Daisy Love scents, I would definitely say that Oh So Sweet is my favorite. I just feel like, you know, that overall sweetness uh, really dries down to a really beautiful scent. And then next, I'd probably say they're pretty close, but I think that Skies maybe has a little edge over uh, Days, but I do really enjoy both of those as well. And then Daisy Sunshine comes in last, but I do think it's a nice scent. Um, just it's, it's a lot less sweet than the others. So that's it for my review of Daisy Loves Skies. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.